Uh, so I will probably let Philip and Pascal just say words, hello, right, and introduce themselves for, for a minute. So Philip, do, do you want to start? Sure, sure. Hi, everyone. I'm I'm Philip. I'm Psyon Kegel. Um, I work for H2 for three and a half years now. Uh, born and living in Austria. Um, yeah, and I am currently um, top ranked Kegler and competitions leader board, um, have profound experience in ML research and applications and had a lot of fun in, in this competition. All right, thanks, Pascal. Yeah, also had a, quite a bit of fun in this competition. So thanks, thanks again for setting this up. Um, as Philip, I'm also working at H2OAI, a uh, little shorter than, than him. I uh, got a PhD in electrical engineering at RWTH in Aachen. And um, this competition actually boosted me again to, to rank four. So I'm <laughs> very, very happy about that. All right. Yeah. And it's it's me. Uh, I'm also working at, at HTO. And I'm probably working like longer than the, than the guys for almost four and a half years already. And I'm based in, in Prague and Czech Republic. And yeah, this competition allowed me to get back into top 10. So I'm currently in top 10 is global racing, which is, I'm also happy with this result. <laughs> All right, so let's let's now get started with our solution. So here is a small summary picture of what we've done. All right, so we've started with this first part of the picture at the top, where we just put the questions uh, into the LLMs and we're trying to model it just end to end to get an answer. And we started in this competition pretty early, right? So we were uh, like there for three months, I guess. So we started maybe from day one or day two. And we quickly realized that this approach uh, is worse than uh, approach with the retrieval, right? So we tried to retrieve the context from the Wikipedia to try and uh, to try to find the questions and paragraphs uh, where the questions were generated from. And this approach was much better than just pure, uh, like answering the questions without the context. And it gave us a huge boost in the beginning of the competition. And closer to the end, the gap was clo was closing. And in the end, like our advantage was not that that large. But I guess it was one of the main findings findings for us in this in this competition. And yeah, so the solution was split into two parts. And for for this, we used uh, only the data that was like shared on the public on the forum. So we also tried to like, generate in our da data a bit, but it wasn't helpful. So we just went with this, with the data that was generated publicly and shared publicly. And for the validation, we used these 200 original samples that were shared. And then in the end, we added like 6,000 more questions just to make a more stable validation as it was like these original 200 samples were too easy and uh, too easy for our, for, for our models. And the first part of the solution was uh, indexing the Wikipedia. So here we uh, tried to use different dumps of Wikipedia played around with their uh, ch chunk sizes and so on and so forth. And in the end, we had like two different dumps in the final solution with 30 million and 60 million paragraphs. We encoded all of them uh, with different models for the for the embedding representation. And uh, overall, it was like a huge, huge mass massive index. And yeah, then once we have an input uh, question and answers, we just also put it into the embedding and just use custom similarity to find the most similar uh, chunks from the Wikipedia. And for the training, we used only top three chunks. And for the inference, it was top five chunks uh, yeah, in, our, in our inference code. For the modeling part, uh, we structured it as a binary classification. So again, we tried multiple approaches. And as I said, we had like lots of time, lots of uh, like room for experiments as we started pretty early in this competition. But in the end, most of our models were binary classification. And for this, we just like flattened this multi-choice questions uh, into, into binary, binary problem. And we used in the final solution only uh, LLMs. So we added a binary head uh, to, to LLMs and model it uh, in, a, in, 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 a, in a binary classification problem. We also tried to build this, but they were consi consistently worse uh, than LLMs. And yeah, it was also a nice chance for us, right, to, to explore this field. And it, we were like, at least for me personally, I was really surprised that we didn't manage manage to beat LLMs with, with the birders. And I think yeah, it is it is the next next step for this uh decoder only models uh to see if they can if they can helpful in this like classic encoder encoder uh problems. And yeah, this decoder only approach also allowed us to save a lot of inference time. So here is another picture that summarizes our solution. 
For example, if I had a question, what is the population of Vienna? Firstly, what we did, we went to Wikipedia, right? Find, found three most similar paragraphs to this question, added it to the context, as then we have like this context and question. And as I said, like we've, we've flattened multi-choice into five options. But the thing is that with decoder only models, what we can do is we can run this context and question only, only once through the forward pass and then cache the results and add this cache uh, to all the five options. So it allows us to run it like this part on the left only once and then only short uh, like answers to pass it through their like uh, rest like the rest of the sequence to pass it through their uh, decoder model and yeah save a lot of computational time and it allowed us to put a lot of models uh, into the final kernel so in the end our best solution was five seven billion models and one thirteen billion models and so there was like six six LLMs in total and also we used like five different retrieval models. Uh, and yeah, I guess it was finished like right exact in 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 uh, in, uh, in, nine, in nine hours. And apart from this huge solution, we also tried some late submissions with single model. In it occurred that we had a single model, and it was Mistral uh, Mistral Orc, I guess, uh, that allowed us to uh, get also private score private scores that uh, that scores on the first place on the private leaderboard. Uh, but it was just a single model and i guess it was running for like under two three hours some, something like that so so yeah we, we had also like this small solutions that, that would score git um yeah and that's that's basically the final result right so we finished fourth here and as i said we spent a lot of effort and as the guys mentioned it was a really fun competition for us quite exhausting right it was a marathon for us but it was it was fun so thanks again for organizing it